So, um, many years ago now, in this classroom, I came up with the line, when in doubt, use nettles. And it's become a bit of a, um, a line that gets used all over the place. I should explain what I meant originally, and then ignore that and get into what it re really means. Um, originally, it was in a class on alteratives, and I was trying to get help people get a handle on the range of alteratives from um, cleavers and nettles and those leafy alteratives through to the very dense rooty um, alteratives, some of which are really strong and intense. And we were trying to work out what the indications were for one extreme or the other or individual herbs. And I just gave up and said, well, when in doubt, use nettles as an alterative. I'm not saying when in doubt, use nettles for everything. You actually could probably get away with that, but I just, you know, for the practitioners here, I, I need to, to explain that. There are times when you don't want to use nettles. Um, and this is also nothing to do with urtication, you know, which is hitting yourself with the nettles, which actually, I was introduced to that in Wales in the 70s by, by these hill farmers who kept their arthritis under control by doing that. Uh, and I saw them doing it. Oh my God, you know, you've got to be a, a Celtic hill man before you really want to do that. On the other hand, you save it for Republicans. They may benefit, but having said that and lost, losing even more of my friends, what the line really leads to is when in doubt, use tonics. When in doubt, go simple, basic, and trust the body to be a self-healing organism. We can use herbs to support the body's innate healing process. And at times, we can use much stronger or more focused herbs, maybe not stronger, more focused, effective herbs to do specific medical things. We can do that, yes. But in doing that, don't forget the way in which good nutrition and the right basic tonic herbs can facilitate the body rebuilding itself. Um, not something that uh, mainstream medicine actually even thinks about. So when we talk like that, it can sometimes sound as though we're being uh, a bit medieval about things. But then why not? Because it's true. Um, the tonic approach is never quick. It's never dangerous. Um, and it will usually work, depending on how you define work. What, what your expected outcome is. So, you know, my favorite herbs, though that's not really the right word, the herbs I would come up with most for people um, would be the appropriate tonics for the body parts they're having challenges with. So, um, if they had arthritis, oh, I'm just pulling this out of the air, um, Things like um, nettles, actually, and meadowsweet, and plants like that will slowly help things get better. Black cohosh, um, hapagophytum. Oh, I'm having an elder moment. Devil's claw. Um, really effective herbs, but in no way tonic for the... Um, for the bones. Black cohosh is tonic in other ways. So we can go for things to reduce inflammation, reduce uh, the tightness, all of that stuff, or we can much more um, slowly and hopefully more effectively long term help the body rebuild itself. So trust in gentle herbs. Not, not blind trust, if nothing is working, go for stronger herbs. But um, I'm, one of the questions you just showed me, what, what herbs have surprised you most? Um, and for me, it definitely has been the healing potential of, of gentle tonics. You know, I, I, I wonder if, if we were 
less industrially comp compromised in our bodies. I wonder if we could just go out and drink the, um, the dew on the leaves in the morning and would that act as a bark flower remedy? Maybe, I don't know, but the gentler, subtler stuff is really potent medicine at times. Hey everyone, this is Mason with Herb Rally and thanks for watching today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, if you didn't know, if you're new to the Herb Rally community, we also list herbalism events. Um, that's herbalism events we list chronologically as well as by state. You can find that at herbrally.com slash events. Um, and we list new, like uh, probably 10 new events every week. So you'll probably be able to find something happening around you. We also list uh, herbalism online events and you can find that at herbrally.com slash virtual. So you're bound to find something happening in the near future or herbalism in your neck of the woods. Uh, if you want more video content, uh, you should be able to find a video right here in this vicinity or, or this one right here. So enjoy uh, our Herb Rally channel. <laughs>